Hello lovelies, this is Rebecca and it's day 22 of our daily creative practice. Are you having fun? Are you having as much fun as I am? I hope so. Today I'm going to walk you through, just do a little flip through of our Once in a Lifetime booklet. And then if time permits today, I'm going to show you my little basket over here. And it's how I kind of project manage. So let's just get started. Let me just untie our little matchbook. I hope you had fun making this matchbook with me. I just loved this process. It was all about exploring new things and using scrapbook paper for me was a new adventure. And that's kind of good because I think about a year ago, I went to an estate sale in South Florida and the person was a scrapbooker and they had two huge tubs of scrapbook papers and stickers and all kinds of things. It was the last day of the sale and oh my goodness, they gave me those tubs for like 25 bucks. So I came home with like tons of scrapbooking materials. So I'm gonna be using those a lot this year. So I can't wait for you to see what we're gonna do with them. I can't wait to see what we're gonna do with them. So anyway, that is the cover of our little book. I did add some of the blue paint in yesterday after you all left. I worked another 20 minutes probably. Yeah, I did two sessions of 20 minutes yesterday. And the back where we attached the ribbon, I did some blue on there also. So let me put this down and turn it the right direction so I can share with you. And I went ahead and I attached these three little butterfly or creatures or bat pages to this and put some blue paint on them also. And I think those are pretty cool. And I didn't do a lot of action on these, what will become the outsides of this. I didn't do a lot of interactive elements. Well, I didn't do any interactive elements because I want that, I don't want those to get messed up as we move on. So let's just open this first flap and see what happens. I added these two little text pieces, which I think are pretty cool. And again, since these are gonna be folding in on each other, I didn't make these interactive either. But I may come back as we move through creating this altered book, I may come back and add some other things to give it some more polish or something. I don't know, I'm pretty happy with it the way it is. And then these are pullouts. These are little journaling cards. This is a little thing that you open that you can actually write in there. Another one with that beautiful B. So I love those. So let's open further. and get our three levels opened up here so that you can see. And I'll start with the furthest away. This one is where the interactive elements come in and this is where we had the most fun, I think. So this one, this was a longer piece of the scrapbooking page and I cut it out and I attached it here with glue. I did that also and it flips, it flips down. And then I made a little pocket there and I put this little tag in that I think is so cute. I love that little hand and it just kind of peeks out, peeks out of that little pocket there. And I want to lift this up and show you that I use decorative scissors here. Let me make sure it's on camera. I used a little, those decorative scissors with the a funky edge to make that little pocket right there. I think that was fun, but I love the fact that this little hand sticks out of there. Okay, so that's the first little tab. Our second one actually folds out more. 
and I love that this part folds and this part folds and I see a place that I can put something to write on in there so I think I will add that at some time in the future sorry I didn't add that now and maybe even here is a little place to put some of those little writing places and this is our library pocket that we made a couple of days ago I love 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 that I love this little cutout and yesterday I bought a round uh, punch that's a little bit smaller than that so I'm going to be able to make smaller kind of circular places in library cards so I love that and these are our two Beauty and the Beast cards that I love let me turn them this way didn't do anything except cut those out I didn't age the edges I wanted those to stay a little more pristine than the aging on here and then our third leg of this matchbook opens this way and I think I showed you yesterday all this wonderful blue color that we added you watched me do that and we added this cute little pocket down here so you can make pockets out of these little bits and pieces that you have left over don't uh, don't throw those away remember I keep this nice little um, cigar box for my little bits and pieces because I never know when I'm going to need those to collage with or play with. So make yourself a little place to hold your little bits and pieces that are left over because they will come in handy. We stenciled a little bit on several places to give it some cohesive elements with our actual journal. and. I just love this. I hope you love it as much as I do. It was so much fun to make. And I hope you enjoyed some new techniques while we were making this. Our little once upon a time. And tomorrow I am going to show you where this is going to live in our altered book. I was going to thinking about doing that today, but I think we're not going to have enough time. I think that's going to be a whole video in and of itself so i do have some fun things to share with you other than that so to just think that that actual um book this wonderful little book started with just this little template is just amazing to me isn't it to you so i hope you will go and download the template and make one of these with me i think i gave you enough direction to do it without a template but it's it's always good to have a little template to work with so let me show you now my little project box and this is a basket that i keep i have several of these little baskets in my um, studio that I actually use to organize different projects because yeah I may have more than one project going at a time so I want to keep all my bits and pieces and things in a basket in some organized way it's organization Rebecca style because I am not the most organized person in the world as I have shown you in my previous confessions but in here let me show you what I keep in here and I think then you'll understand my thought process this is our our book that we are altering of course so I keep everything together that I am using I keep all the paints in the colorways that I am using right here so I don't have to go looking for them again I keep any of the washi tapes that I use I keep the ribbons that we're going to use or that we have used and little pieces of paper in here here are those decorative scissors that I use to cut and trim um, part of our little uh, uh, matchbook book and then I keep this is part of the cover there's more of the cover off of the book that we're actually altering and then I have kept in here also those wonderful lovely lovely I love these um, printed pages that we did earlier and we will find lots of use for those inside the book I keep my stencil that I'm using I'm keeping these little 
tag papers that I got that I put in the matchbook that we are going to be using inside the book as we continue on. What else is in here? This is where we made our portals or windows. So if I want to do any more of that, I've got this at hand. This is just a um, paper towel that I was using when the very first day when we did our watercolor, um, the hack of the jelly plate. That's what this was. So I'm sure that will end up in the book somewhere. And this is just a piece of foil off of a candy that I got over the holidays and I think it matches our colorway so perfectly that it's probably going to go somewhere in the book. These are the pages I pulled out and of course this is our template. So you can see I, I keep all this stuff together. I keep my basic tools in this little basket over here on my desk. I love this tiny little basket. Found it not too long ago at the dollar store and it's really come in handy there. But this basket keeps me organized, which I need more than anybody on the face of the earth, trust me. And so I don't have to look all over the studio and dig things out and find them. I keep this basket the whole time I'm doing the project till the project is finished. When the project is done, then I will come in here and uh, empty it and put another project in. So I hope this helps you figure out some organization and figure out kind of what we're going to do in the future here and tomorrow we will be back to make our little way that we're going to insert this book in there i think that's going to be fun i can't wait to share that with you and just to let you know that I am here to guide you and love you and hold your hand. That's what I consider myself. I don't consider myself um, your expert teacher at this point in time because I'm learning just like you are during this process. And really, it's all about creating this daily creative practice. That's what it is, about getting into your creative space and doing something for 20 minutes every day. So if you have any questions or anything like that, reach out to me, Creativa, on Facebook. I will answer, I promise, within 24 hours, hopefully. And uh, I would love to hear from you and see how you're doing. And if you're liking what we're doing or any ideas or suggestions for me, just leave them in there. So for now, this is Rebecca and may joy be with you all.